Let's get started. Are you ready, little person? <coughs> Three, two, one. I've heard that same exact line before, you know. <laughs> hey guys, what are you doing? Oh, that's great. Let's begin. So four days ago my PSU exploded. Okay, here we go. Chapter 368. It's an action-packed chapter loaded with punches. Do take note this will not be a full recap. We are just gonna be talking about things that don't make sense. But mostly Falcon and Handyman. But before we start let me say a little something. So this is a cover art for this chapter. It's Falcon but with tits I mean it's an naked in this. What the hell is that? What the f*** is this? It's an naked 16 year old girl. After screwing up the pacing of the final arc, here comes the creator drawing a naked teenager, because there's almost no more adult female characters left to draw. Jokes aside. What does a naked inverse got to do with the chapter? Isn't 368 all about the second user's quirk reveal? If anything this cover should be a fanciless shot of the second user, and not in this. Anyways. Let's get started with the rant. We start with Handerman as usual. So a lot of viewers might have already noticed that almost every video contains a Handerman rant, and sometimes entire videos are dedicated to nothing but ranting about Handerman. This is because the creator, while he's very good at drawing and has some decent skill at writing characters, is so horrendously bad at writing villains, easily noticeable with the main ones. I've read a lot of amateur fiction back in the day and I've never seen villains as horrible and pathetic as the ones in MHA, they're in a league all their own. I mean come on. When is the last time you saw a super giant mutated final boss villain, surrounded by heroes? Focus his attention on a f***ing harmless building instead, for 11 chapters straight, and still not win. Only in MHA you will get to see such level of patheticness from a final boss. This manga is part of the top 10 for years yet it's f***ing final boss is an ultra dumbass embarrassing piece of useless f***ing garbage who can't even win against a f***ing building. And if you think Handerman can't get any worse, check out this punch. Out of all the attacks he can do, he went with a leaping attack. And since he has no aerial maneuverability, this attack is incredibly easy to dodge. But Falcon didn't even dodge. Threat Sense didn't even activate despite being there in the final panel of the previous chapter. Falcon literally just stood there and took the entire hit. And the hit did absolutely f***ing nothing. This is Handerman's Apex Form's first f***ing hit against Falcon, and didn't do any f***ing damage. Falcon didn't even shield himself, and his clothes are still intact without any scratches. In fact his fancy scarf is still there. Handerman not only can't win against a f***ing building, now he can't even tear up a f***ing scarf. Are you serious? What the hell's going on with that weak little body? It is evolving, just backwards. This basically shows that the only thing the ideal form can do is be a punching bag. <laughs> okay. Now that I'm done ranting about Handerman as usual, let's move on to Falcon, especially the second user's quirk. Despite everyone thinking it's gonna be a massively overpowered quirk that could end the fight in seconds, it's just a rather simple speed manipulation ability that works like a car's transmission. Capable of changing the speed of anything the user touches, including said user. Overall it's like a mix between shockwaves and anime's quirks. For short, it's another supercharge ability, on top of another supercharge ability, on top of yet another supercharge ability. So Falcon can punch even harder. On the other hand, transmission differs from supercharge in that it works by touching which means Falcon can pass a speed boost onto God after he inevitably wakes up. 
so both of them can hit harder. Additionally, what's strange about this ability is that it has a timer, which is something other row FA quirks lack. And once activated, Handerman has to be defeated within 5 minutes because that's just how long it lasts, and if that didn't work the entire world is doomed. Ah yes. It's really so f***ing believable for the second user to say that when literally a few panels ago we saw Handerman can't even deal any f***ing damage, and Threat Sense didn't even activate. Overall. The 5 minutes timer is just there to create tension. No other reason why it's there. But still. At the end of the day everyone already knows no one's going to die anyway and Falcon will just outpunch Handerman and win. Just like he always does with almost every single one of his previous enemies. What the hell? <laughs> hey guys where are you? What are you two doing up there? Reenacting the cut scenes from the VA season 5. Very funny. You know what I'm gonna reenact. The joint training arc. Watch me waddle off the screen with high quality animations and end the video bombastically. That's it. I have a drastically different meaning of bombastic.